Greetings fellow YouTubers, I'm Christopher Delosi of Delosi Enterprises, LLC, and today we're going to do semi-healthy meatloaf. For this recipe, you're going to need your favorite type of beef, ground beef, and turkey. It's very easy, it's a 50-50 mix. Now that being said, we are going to use our uh, dehydrated veggie stock. Salt and pepper, garlic, eggs. Now, I normally do one egg per pound plus one egg for good luck. Uh, unseasoned uh, breadcrumbs and one small can of tomato sauce. Now, the easiest way to do this is just get a large bowl, the largest bowl you have. And then just drop everything in. Now, once it's dropped in, you're going to want to mix them. Now, since I'm not sure if we're going to have enough room for this, which I'm almost positive we're not, we're going to just use one each. Crack your eggs. Use the garlic powder. Now remember, I'm not giving you guys any sort of guidance on this, on the amounts, because everything is to taste. So, I'm sure you guys have made meatloaf before, so use it the way you like it. Now, once again, from Preserving the Harvest, or I should say Adventures in Dehydrating, this is carrots, onions, parsley, all that stuff. We're going to be kind of liberal on this, like that. But now that the egg is mixed in, to help with the binding, Use some plain breadcrumbs. Now once again, it's all according to how you like it. I'm using about maybe a third of a can. Now, for additional flavoring, use a little bit of tomato sauce in here. And that's about a half a can's worth. Once again, mix thoroughly. Now remember, the idea here is to have a 50-50 mix. Everything is just all blended together. No little uh, bread clumps, things of that nature. This is it's kind of like you're just making a big meatball. As you can see, we're finished now. And we have a 50-50 mix. Everything's mixed in. Everything looks good. Now remember, the bread, the eggs, are going to act as a binding agent. The dehydrated vegetables that we did in a previous video is going to also help bind it because it's going to suck up the moisture in here. And once that's all done, we just sit it in the refrigerator overnight. That way all these flavors just meld together. That way nobody can tell the difference. Now, this is a generic meatloaf. Now, once you put the seed, you can put additional seasonings in. For If you want to put Italian seasoning in, you can turn this very easily into meatballs. So, if you don't want to do meatballs, you can put additional seasonings or whatever your favorite hamburger is. This can easily turn into a hamburger on your grill. Most people won't know the difference. Stay tuned. We'll pull it in the refrigerator and show you tomorrow. Welcome back, fellow YouTubers. Now that we've waited 24 hours for our meatloaf, or I should say our semi-healthy meatloaf, to basically meld together, we're going to put it in this pan. Now, what's nice about this pan, this is your typical meatloaf pan because it has holes in it, so all the fat's going to drop down. So, all we got to do is just take this, 
drop it in and fill in all the crevices here. Now we're going to use the indirect cooking method for this. What that is, you take a pile of coals and you split them in half and you put the meatloaf in the center indirectly away from the coals. Hence, indirect cooking method. What that's going to do is it's going to basically create an oven effect so that you can cook your meatloaf without burning it. Now with that being said, if people are worried about drying it out accidentally, you can put a standard aluminum foil uh, pan underneath, the disposable type, fill it with water, wine, or your favorite seasonings, and that's going to steam and it will soak into the meat that you're cooking. So that's something you may want to think about. Okay, okay fellow YouTubers, now since we are still sticking with our disaster preparedness thing, we are basically, we'll say this is a day two of no power. So, that being said, we want to clean out our kitchen or refrigerator. We got some leftover tomato paste or tomato sauce, excuse me. So, we're going to put this on top in like a little well, which I created, like a little trough or something. Now, this should help prevent the meatloaf from drying out. All right? And there you can see it right there. Now, if you want, you can spread it out a little bit. Since my hands are still clean, I can just kind of put a little bit up here on the ridge, kind of like so, spread it out. And with the majority in the middle here, that will just be all the more that will soak in. So, let's get started and put this on the grill. All right, now we're out at our barbecue. I saved you the, the slowness of watching cook. Now, if you look in here, we got our hot coals and we got our fresh coals. So what we're going to do, we're going to build up our hot coals on top of our fresh. This will guarantee us a long duration. And I can assure you this is very hot. So you see how I'm just kind of like scooping this up like so. I recommend wearing a glove, but well, I'm being lazy today. So we're putting that up like so. Okay, now that we got it about 50-50, we're going to put our grate down. Now we don't have to clean this grate because we have it in a pan. We're going to stick this directly in the middle. See where we're doing it? And make sure our holes are all the way open. We're going to close our lid down. We're going to time it right now. It's 17.45 or 5.45. And we're going to wait at least 45 minutes before we check it. Remember, we have turkey in here, so it has to be thoroughly cooked. Okay, fellow YouTubers, it's been 45 minutes, so we're going to take it out. And, oh, that looks good. Now, we're going to see, I'm going to stick this in, all right, as you can see, it's still cooking, because as you can see, it's just coming out and everything. So we'll cover this up, and we'll give it another 30 minutes. Okay, it's been 30 minutes, and as you can tell, we have some noisy dogs. 
Too bad we cannot silence them. Now, as you can see, the juices are not running clear right now. They're still a little on the bloody side. So, we're going to just kind of double check. So, it needs some more time. So, just wait a little Well, fellow YouTubers, as you can see, it's 170, bordering on 180. This is at the center. And what we're going to do now is we're going to cut it in half. That way you'll see the finished product. And there you have it. Now to show you how nice and healthy this is, we're going to lift up right here this tray, and this is all the grease that's in it, which is not much. There you have it, semi-healthy meatloaf. Thank you for watching and have a good day.